everyone, Felicia here. Welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. Definitely wanted to start off by wishing everyone a wonderful new year. If you've made it to see 2022, that's a blessing in itself because as you guys know, we've gone through a lot the past couple of years or almost two years at this point. So I'm really excited to be coming to you guys in 2022 with another video. I'm gonna share with you guys some of my favorite plant purchases of 2021. And then towards the end of the video, I'm gonna share a couple of you know, plants that I hope to get this year. So I guess you can call that like a little plant wish list, if you will. It's a very short list for now. So let's jump into my favorite purchases of 2021. If you've seen any of my previous plant videos, I always talk about how I'm a simple plant lover. I love my trailing plants, my pothos plants, my ZZ plants. I just love those plants because one, it's no fuss. It doesn't take a lot to keep them alive. I don't know if you guys can see this beautiful ZZ plant behind me. But when I first purchased it, it was really small and it's gotten so tall. I actually have two of those. One of them is in my living room. I just love ZZ plants. So I was really excited when I finally got my hands on a ZZ Raven plant. So again, simple plant. It's not an exotic plant by any means. However, it did take me a minute to find this. I believe I found this ZZ Raven at Home Depot, if I'm not mistaken. So, and the funny thing is, it took me a while to find it. And since I got mine, I started seeing it left and right everywhere. So really excited to get my hands on this. Um, it is January, so we're moving into winter. Actually, we're already in winter. So some of the plants, they tend to go dormant. They drop a lot of leaves, but this one is actually growing quite a bit. I have two shoots right here. As you know, with ZZ plants, they kind of start off with the bright green color, so like the regular ZZ plant. And as the leaf matures, then it turns into this beautiful dark color. So I'm really happy that I finally got my hands on this ZZ plant. I bought it when it was relatively small, so it did grow quite a bit. And that's one of my favorite parts of um, buying plants is just buying them at like a small to medium size and watching them grow. So really excited I got my hands on this ZZ Raven. I may add another one in my collection someday. If I see it around town for a good price, then I definitely will. So this is one of my first, not one of my first, one of my favorite plant purchases of 2021. Another one of my favorite plant purchases of 2021 is my Hoya rope. Love this plant so much. I also got this plant at Williams Nursery. Here's a little close up of my little Hoya baby. This plant has grown quite a bit. These plants, they do take a very long time to grow, but I have definitely noticed some growth on this one. It was very gradual, but because I care for the plant and I stared at practically every day. I have noticed that it has grown quite a bit. So all of these little long pieces here dangling off the side, I already bought them like that, but I have noticed a little bit of growth. Even like here on the edges, you'll see some little tight little curls there. A lot of those are pretty new. I, when I purchased the plant, I did buy it in this hanging basket, so I haven't repotted it or anything yet. I'm not currently hanging the plant right now. Right now I actually have it, I'll show you the pot. Right now I keep the plant inside of this ceramic planter on top of my plant stand. And you know, I decided to leave this in here because I haven't decided yet if I wanna hang it eventually, if I wanna keep it in this pot. Technically I can take the little hanging basket piece off, but I just don't feel like it because I don't wanna lose it. So I just keep it on top of my plant stand just like this. And this is definitely one of my favorite purchases of 2021. I, as I mentioned, I got this from Williams Nursery and I also ordered a little mini version on Amazon. That one has also given me some growth. Again, it's very small and gradual, but I, it's, it's noticeable to me. So plant purchase of 2021 in the faves list, number two. Next up on the list of favorite purchases of 2021 is my Sansevieria Moonshine or Snake Plant. Very small. I got this one at Terrace Plant Shop in Matucha, New Jersey. I believe I gave you guys a walkthrough of that plant shop at the beginning of the summer last year, and I haven't been back since, so I have to go give them a visit one of these days, but got this Moonshine Snake Plant. This is one I don't really see it a lot in my local big box stores. I have started seeing it a lot at places like Williams Nursery and even at the Metropolitan Plant and Flower Exchange in West Orange that I go to here and there. Um, but they're a little pricey and this one, it wasn't cheap. This one was, I believe I paid $25 for this. For the size, it, it is a little pricey, I'm not gonna lie, but it was just one of those things where I really wanted to plant. It was right there in front of me, so I decided to go for it. 
This one also, I have it placed on top of my plant stand directly below one of my grow lights. So it has grown quite a bit, especially this leaf right here. This one has grown so much. You'll notice that it has like a little bit of a curve to it because it started hitting the top of the shelf. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and move this one to the very top of my plant shelf, right next to my Hoya rope, so that way this can just kind of grow upwards. Um, but I mean, this doesn't bother me and as long as it's not harming the plant, it's fine with me. But I was really happy to get this plant. Now, as you can see, I do have one of those fly traps on here because this one, is a fungus snap magnet. I haven't been seeing as many as when I first purchased it. I even repotted the plant, gave it a new soil mixture, and the gnats are still a thing. I haven't been noticing it as much now that we've got moved into cooler weather, which is great. However, I still keep the fly trap on there just in case. It did come in a different um, pot at the time of purchase, but I just put it in this little white ceramic pot that I purchased another plant with. This one actually is kind of chipped on two different sides, but I don't care, I like the pot anyway. So here we go, my Sansevieria Moonshine. Another favorite of 2021 is my Marble Queen Pothos. Again, I know you guys are probably saying, man, her and her simple plants, but I love all of my simple plants. And again, these plants, it's taken me a while to find it because it's not like I can just walk into any shop and say, I want a moonshine, I want to find a moonshine, I want a marble queen. Sometimes it's really hard to come across them. So I got this plant at Divine Plantery in Montclair, New Jersey. It's a black owned, woman owned plant shop. So I was really excited to go in there and support them. But I got this little moonshine. I got this little marble queen and I'm really excited about it. And I have started seeing growth. This little branch right here is new. And I feel like whenever you have a pothos plant, if you buy it really small, once you see one of the leaves or one of the stems, I should say, start to kind of branch off to the side, then you know it's only a matter of time until it begins to trail. So really excited about that. And there's another piece in here. I don't know if you can really see it really well, but this one is also kind of bending off to the side. So really excited about here's some beautiful variegation on this marble queen this is probably my fifth pothos plant let me see one two three four yeah pothos plant number five including one that i'm propagating now you will notice some of the leaves are dark green and they don't have that variegation in it i'm thinking it's probably a result of maybe too much light exposure so i did kind of pull it back a bit from my grow lights um, I live in an area, again, it's winter time, but if you remove the winter aspect of it, I don't get a ton of sunshine in my living space where I have all my plants, so that's the reason why I have a ton of grow lights. If you'd like to see a video from me on my lighting setup and my plant nighttime routine, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to share that with you. Then my last and probably my absolute best plant purchase of 2021, I'm actually gonna stick it here on the side of the video because I can't carry it, is my Monstera Deliciosa. I was on the hunt for one of these plants. You know, I do see them in the big box stores, but as you guys may know, the big box stores kind of charge you an arm and a leg for larger plants. So didn't bother to get it from like a Home Depot or a Lowe's. I went over, I believe it was the Metropolitan Plant and Flower Exchange around Thanksgiving. Was it Thanksgiving? It was either around Thanksgiving or the end of summer. They had a 40% off sale. So I went ahead and got this Monstera and I love it. This plant grows quite a bit. If you guys have Monsteras, then you, know, then you already know what I'm talking about. I've probably had maybe five, six, seven new leaves since I've had it. Now, over the holidays, I did have to move it out of its current location and put my Christmas tree there. So I did notice some, a bit of a slowdown in the growth. But now I've moved it back to its original location because I took down my tree like the day after Christmas because honestly, I wanted my plant back in its own location. So I took down the tree, the monstera is back in its original location. So I'm hoping that it kind of perks up a little bit. But again, we're moving into the cooler weather months. Things are starting to go dormant when it comes to your plants. So I completely understand if it is what it is. But my monstera is my final favorite purchase of 2021. So these aren't necessarily in the favorite purchases realm, but they are plants that I did get, as I mentioned, at Williams Nursery um, towards the end of the year. So I wanted to show them to you really quickly. The first one here, I got another moonshine plant. This is what it's looking like. This plant is looking a little 
struggle-ish, if I must say so myself. Now, granted, they did tell me that they took some clippings from a moonshine, a larger moonshine plant that they had, and they created this one. So they did give it to me at a discounted rate. However, I am noticing that some of the leaves are a little wilted, like this one here on the side. Hopefully you can see it. Do you see how it looks a little wrinkly and then curled in? Don't know why it looks like that, but I think I'm going to remove that one. And I may potentially remove this one as well because I am noticing some wrinkling. I'm not going to get rid of them. I think I'm just going to separate it from the healthier looking leaves and just kind of maybe create like a little baby moonshine. So I haven't repotted it. I kept it in the original um, clay pot that they gave it to me in. I also haven't watered it just yet, but other than those two leaves, it looks fairly healthy. I mean, there's a lot of scratches and such, but again, they gave it to me at a discounted rate because they removed it from the mother plants. Despite some of the leaves looking a little struggleish, I am glad that I got another moonshine. I love snake plants, love the moonshine snake plant, and I'm hoping to add some more varieties of Sansevierias in my collection in 2022. The second plant that I got at that same plant shop at Williams was this little plant right here. The guy called it an agave plant and it's even listed here. It says agave spaghetti strap. I did some research online and I don't know if that's the correct name. Let me know what you guys think. To be honest with you, I don't even know why I got this plant. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. It's a beautiful plant, but he told me it's like a, it's not going to grow any larger than this. He did mention that it's a very pliable plant, which I can already tell. It's a pretty interesting plant. If I can rewind back to that day, I probably wouldn't have gotten this one. But I don't know why I got it, but I just thought it was a pretty interesting plant. I have it in this little clay pot that I have here. I believe I got this pot from Hobby Lobby. So again, cute plant. Not sure if that's the correct name. Let me know if you guys know the correct name of this plant in my comments below. I think it's an agave. I don't know. I'm, I'm doing some more research on this one. I haven't watered it yet since I purchased it or repotted it or anything. I'm just kind of letting it chill for now until I figure out what's what. I also wanted to share some planty accessories like this Plant Mama shirt that you're probably wondering about. I got this from Ava and Avery and this is a beautiful like crop top sweater. I'll stand so you guys can get a better look. I love this sweater from Ava and Avery. Ava and Avery is a black owned plant and plant accessories brand. You can find them online. I'll leave their link in my description box along with a coupon code. I also got this crop top from Ava and Avery. It says mining my plants and my business. Really excited to wear this one and I'll share this with you in another one of my, like a plant routine video. I also got this cute little bag. I got it from a secret Santa. I believe she got it from Amazon, but it says just one more plant. I think this is so cute, especially when I'm going plant shopping. I just thought this would be pretty neat to take it along with me because as we all know, as plant parents, who's just buying one more plant, right? Like, seriously. And another honorable mention is my, it's a whole lot of plants in this MF mat. I'll leave a little photo right here next to me. Beautiful mat. Definitely a conversation starter when you have guests come over and they see that mat, especially when they're not plant people. I feel like it always kind of gets like a little chuckle and gets the conversation started in your home. So love that mat. So now I just want to share with you a few plants that I have on my radar for 2022. The first one is a bird of paradise. Simple plant, well, I don't know if I would put that in a simple category, but it is a plant that you can find in many stores and nurseries and big box stores. I used to have a beautiful bird of paradise plant. It got so tall. I bought it when it was about medium size, got really tall, but then it also got a really bad case of spider mites. I cleaned it off. It just kept coming back and I just said, you know what, I'm going to have to get rid of this plant because I was afraid that it would contaminate my other plants, which is what you don't want. At one point, I put it on my balcony and I was even trying to revive that plant. I was filming the process of reviving that plant over the course of like a couple of months. I may share that, may or may not share the video, I don't know. But in the end, I did end up getting rid of the plant. But that is a plant that I definitely want to repurchase because it is a beautiful, beautiful plant. Makes a statement in your home, whether you have a large home, a small home, home. Definitely want to get a bird of paradise in my collection in 2022. Next plant I have on my radar for 2022 is a philodendron. I want to say it's a pink princess. I'll leave an image here of the plant that I saw on Instagram along with the name because I may be jacking up the name, but... 
This plant is beautiful. I love, I'm at the point in my plant journey where, yes, I love my simple plants and I will continue to keep those simple plants in my collection, but I am starting to become more interested in plants that are, you know, have beautiful variegated leaves or have different colored leaves. And this philodendron plant is one that I would for sure want to add to my collection just because it's so beautiful. I think it's a gorgeous plant. So definitely want to add this one to my 2022 collection. So that's it. Just a couple of plants that I have on my radar for 2022. I'm sure the list won't stop there. I may add some more, but those are the two for sure that I'm going to have in my home by the end of the year. Thank you guys so much for joining me in my YouTube journey. I hope you guys would consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.